Hey YouTube, for those of you who'd like to use Affinity Designer to create comics and graphic novels, this is the first of an ongoing series to show how to do just that. This is going to be about creating reusable panels, and here we go. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to create a six panel grid using the rectangle tool to create a large panel and then subdividing it with three skinny rectangles. Once you've done that, select all of the rectangles and then hold Alt or Option and select the subtract from the geometry menu. And what this does is it actually creates a compound path and by toggling the little arrow on the, uh, the group layer, you can see all the different components. Each one of those can be individually adjusted, leaving your grid intact, but changing the sizes of your panels um, according to your layout needs. I'm gonna create another uh, different panel layout, an eight panel grid. And I'm gonna show you how to add this item once you've created the compound path to your assets panel for uh, future use. The assets are saved across all your files. So just go to your, your assets panel. After creating a category, you can add from selection. And now there's that eight panel grid. I can just drag it out and apply it. And you can see that the layers are still preserved even though it's an asset. This technique gives you a lot of flexibility and also uniformity. So you can apply one grid design and then adjust it to create variety over the course of a graphic novel or a comic. If you'd like to convert this to a raster image, just right click on the layer and select raster. That will make it able to be used as, uh, for example, a clipping mask or uh, a masking tool object. But you can also preserve the vectors by going to layer and converting to curves instead. And now instead of a compound path, you've got this curves layer and you can use your node tool to make adjustments, add nodes, change the shape in a bunch of crazy ways, create curves and add variety while maintaining the consistency of your grid. Hopefully this tip will let you start exploring using Affinity Designer to make comics and uh, not let the technology be a hindrance, but a help. Hope you learned something. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I'll be adding to this series periodically. So hit that subscribe button if you'd like to be notified when I do. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.